Th there are um, a number of formerly horrendous infectious diseases which can be nearly totally prevented um, by appropriate, appropriate vaccination. And um, we don't see them anymore, but because we've had effect effective vaccinations for the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, the, the danger to the public health of children is if we don't keep up vaccination rates, um, children will start getting sick. And we've seen that with the outbreak of measles from uh, Disneyland uh, a couple of years ago, and we've had outbreaks of whooping cough around the country for the same kind of reason. We are making the service available that um, the, the state of Maryland, the state of Maryland has always had vaccine requirements for um, kids going into school. Several years ago, the change that occurred um, was um, for increased vaccine requirements, um, kids entering school to have, make sure that they had um, the extra uh, chickenpox vaccine and kids going into seventh grade to make sure they had the tetanus, uh, diphtheria and pertussis vaccine. Um, as well as a meningococcal vaccine, but there's been vaccine requirements for many, many years. Um, because of um, outbreaks which have occurred, um, the state of Maryland is more stringent in the requirements for documentation of um, that kids have had the appropriate vaccines. And this year, um, there is a 20-day uh, limit and if a child has not had va the vaccine or it doesn't have something from the doctor about why they haven't or when the plans are to have it, um, after 20 days they'll not be able to um, attend school. So that's what's changed this year. It, it is so important to the health of your child. Um, parents might do well to read about the horrendous complications of measles and meningococcal uh, meningitis years past before these vaccines were available. Those are the things that we um, avoid uh, by getting the, requiring these vaccines. Um, it's as important to your child's health as, as using a seatbelt in the car or not letting a child run into a busy road.